Thanks for joining OVNS English News and I'm Addis Ababa. President of Oromia Regional State, Lama Magarsa, said for future work direction for the youth on the way to sustain the Oromo struggle. Short term training given for the youth in Adama Town has been completed. Muktaraj reports. The short-term training organized by the Oromia Leadership Academy for the use drawn from all districts and zones of Oromia region has been completed. On the training, 1,004 youth have been taking part for 15 consecutive days. Issues such as history of the Oromo people's struggle, building democracy and democratic systems, and role of the youth in maintaining sustainable security were among topics of the training. On the occasion, President of the Oromia Regional State, Lama Magasa, has reacted to the questions of the youth over the past 15 days. <laughs> Users are our future leaders because leaders are from the youth that could make a change. Therefore, you have to think about how to become a good leader. Everybody should be a competent to be a leader. It's only that way we can change our country and the life of our people. The president said the current political development of the Oromo people is a result of a struggle with high division for freedom. <laughs> Development in Siasa Oromo case is by Yaguda. The Oromo people's political development is wider so far. Kero is the result of the Oromo political struggle. At least it has created Kero with high demand of political freedom while undertaking revolution. So Kero has done a great job. It's unforgettable deed ever done by our Kero that always flourished in the history of our political freedom, which passed from generation to generation. Some youth have said they are ready to take part in the socio-economic and political development of the country. They said they have got a better awareness from the training. Previously, there was no comfortable condition to take part in any struggle because the name of terrorist is attached to the youth. But now, the political commitment by the government over some past months has brought us to discuss together. I feel happy for getting such opportunity. To see a develop and a free Oromia, the youth are expected to look at events very critical and follow best path of our prime minister. We are also expected to discuss issues if unsuitable condition may happen to us. Oromia Social and Labor Affairs Bureau celebrated Family Day under a team. Building strong family is building strong community. Olga Bawandum reports. Celebration of World Family Day was started in 1989. Family has an irreplaceable role in keeping safe of children's life and futurity. The Oromia Labor and Social Affairs Bureau has celebrated Family Day, which is the first in its scan in history of this country. The day is celebrated with the theme of families and inclusive society. The day was celebrated at the presence of all stakeholders and honorable guests from the public in Adama Town. Head of the Oromia Social and Labor Affairs Bureau, Fatia Mohammed Saad, the main purpose of the celebration is to give awareness to the public. The purpose of celebrating this family day is to create awareness uh, within the society uh, because family is a big institution uh, and also a very important institution in the world uh, so that we create awareness about the importance of family to create a strong societies, a strong country, a strong world. Assistant professor and lecturer at Addis Ababa University, Dr. Freo Jabi Safori said, only celebrating family day is not enough, but also constantly sharing of ideas is quite important. As a family, we have to practice our roles and responsibilities we have to accomplish. And um, at, at, as, a, as, a, as a country or as a nation, we have to also uh, practice the, the existing laws, uh, rules and regulations and the policies, and we have to put those things in practice. Fimfine City announced that it would take over the four Apanoromo medium schools built by the community and build other five schools. OPDO members of the city held a conference. Orma Bainas more. OPDO members and leaders of Fimfine City have held a conference. The members have raised various limitations that have been seen in the leadership area. Frankly speaking, there are basic problems of good governance. I doubt if there are OPDO leaders in Infinite City. We haven't been moving in deep renewal spirit. 
We haven't been played our role as expected from us. I don't know what lagged us behind. Mayor of Infine City, Driba Kuma, for his part, had to say the following. The first thing that has to be done is creating committed leaders of PDO and strong members at all levels. Dreba said they have been striving to strengthen Afan Romo medium schools in the city. Concerning Afan Romo language, we've been working to receive the four Afan Romo medium schools that were built so far. We've already allocated budget for it. We've also been working to open other five schools, including high schools in Afan Romo medium. He also noted the city administration has been working to solve residential houses problem of teachers in the city. We've planned to build houses for rent in large, but the residents should also strive and organize in association to get loan opportunities. Oromia Forest Landscape Program, which aims to reduce deforestation in the region, has been launched. The Oromia Environment, Forest and Climate Change Authority has the discussion with stakeholders on ways of succeeding the program here at Dama Town. Anwar Kali reports. The data obtained from uh, Food and uh, Culture Organization, FAO, indicates that Oromia lost a forest resource over 500 hectares of land from 2000 to 2013. It revealed that the main drivers of deforestation and forest degradation are expansion of farmland, cutting trees for construction, and for energy among gathers. Oromia Forest Landscape Program, which aims at reducing deforestation in the region, has been launched. This program said would benefit Oromia in general and individual farmers in particular by keeping natural balance of the environment. Although there is transplantation of various tree seedlings every year in the region, the forest coverage of the region is under great threat, which has been said should get your attention. The Oromia Environment, Forest and Climate Change Authority has held discussion with stakeholders on ways of succeeding the program here in Adama Town. Coordinator of Oromia Red Plus Project with the Oromia Environment, Forest and Climate Change Authority, Tsvaya Gonfa said the new program would tackle deforestation in Oromia. The World Bank is actually financing this program and the, fi and the finance for this project implementation came from the Royal Government of Norway uh, amounting to about uh, 9.45 million USD and the remaining 8.55 million US dollar comes from the US Department of State. Oromia Red Plus also called Oromia Forest Landscape Program lead facilitator of Central and Eastern Oromia Zones, Dabala Tasfai said the program will be implemented in the zones under this cluster based on the conduct researches. In one aspect, we need to rehabilitate this lost forest or to reforest those areas. In other aspect, we are expected to protect those left forests, especially including but uh, working with uh, Oromia uh, Wildlife and the Forest Enterprise, uh, working on participatory forest management under uh, of a consensus. And also we are uh, implementing a new project, uh, which is a component of Oromia Forest Landscape Program, Red Divestment Program in about uh, seven or nine waradas of the, the cluster. We are uh, working on afforestation and reforestation. Director General of the Oromia Environment, Forest and Climate Change Authority, Dr. Hassan Yusuf said, the new program would help the region reduce carbon emissions. He called on all stakeholders to work hard and save the forest resources in the region. My main message is just to leverage this program in terms of resources as well as in terms of the mandates even they have and the projects they have so that this project succeeds in delivering it is target. Some participants of the program witnessed that they got a lot from the discussion. That brings us to the end for the edition. Thank you for watching and have a nice time with the remaining OBN's Aridata programs.